In some ways, 2020 created a holding pattern, like being stuck in traffic on a 405. Filming production was halted, and many are uneasy about returning to the theater. This is creating a gap in the content supply chain, essentially stifling the new release market. But in other ways, an acceleration of existing trends created many new opportunities. One of the bright spots has been the acceleration of streaming video adoption. Since the pandemic began, streaming media player sales have been up 32% versus last year. As a result, households now have more TV connected devices than ever before, allowing for access to video content across most of the screens within their homes. Ultimately, more viewers have converted to digital. We want to zero in on a transactional digital customer as they're a highly valuable consumer and a core subset of the subscription on demand audience. These consumers already have an average of five subscription services, one more than the average viewer. They also have an exceptionally high interest in adding more, in particular direct to consumer channels. Despite the high interest in subscription streaming, trial and churn present the greatest risk. On average, one in 10 viewers on trial say they're likely to cancel their service, and that number doubles for some services. Other than viewers burning through content, trials ending drive the highest amount of churn. The electronic sell through and internet video on demand markets have also experienced astonishing growth this year. This has activated a digital transition. The most notable positive pandemic related contribution was consumers simply buying and renting more and doing so digitally. These consumers are seeing the transactional channel as affordable and recognize the value of new releases being available. Retaining this audience is critical to future success. Before I wrap up, I wanna talk about DVD for a moment. This is a picture of a coffee shop in rural West Virginia. It's notable because of the broadband issues towns like this face. Residents here often encounter buffering challenges when streaming video, and when they do, they pop in a DVD. Across America, 31% of homes just don't have broadband access to support streaming video. And when you dig into DVD and Blu-ray sales within rural America, you find they've held up better than in urban areas. While forecasting in the 2020s has become challenging, there are a few pillars that will define success. Direct to consumer shows no signs of abating. Viewers, especially electronic sell-through and internet video on demand users intend to buy more services. Trial and switching will be among the greatest business challenges. A larger, more, more avid transactional digital audience has been activated and must be retained and DVD distribution strategies will need to become more localized.